So season three of Baskets came out, still going strong. I wanted to make a review because I think this is one of the hidden gems out there that it may never have a wide audience, but I think if this is your kind of humor, you're just gonna love you're gonna love this show. Now, best way to describe it, if you think of cringe humor, a show like The Office where someone's very not self-aware, very awkward, and it creates these these awkward, cringy situations. This is a similar style of humor, but it's a little different. It's more just sad failure mediocrity and just kind of stewing in that and that's where the the dark comedy and the the black comedy comes from it's not not gallows humor there's not people dying it's just sad failure and just really stewing in that and finding the humor most of the time but also finding those those rare moments of beauty so Zach Galifianakis he stars he also plays another character the twin brothers on the show everyone knows him from the hangover movies and a good way to describe the show is think if that same character from the Hangover movies that was just as delusional and rude and arrogant at times, imagine if rather than in the Hangover movies he's born into wealth and then he inherits wealth and he has these, these great friends thrust upon him and they're going on all these adventures, rather than all that, imagine if that same character was just born into a normal middle America family how do, you, how do you think that, that that would play out? And really on this show, you, you see how it plays out. He So the show begins, he's, he's off in France, in Paris, trying to become a clown, and Renoir the clown. And he fails at that, comes back home, um, comes back home, and basically is, is with his with his overbearing, overbearing mom. And what's great about her is she just is so... At first you see her, and she just seems so trashy. And she loves things like, she loves Reagan. They go to the Reagan, the Reagan Memorial Center. It's just classic Americana kitsch. And she's so just, just trashy and cheap. She just loves, loves Costco, loves deals, loves anything that's, anything that's trashy. But you really grow to love her and you grow to see that once you get beyond her, her lack of, of good taste and, and all these preconceived notions you have about what someone should be, she's really very smart. She's very capable, and she's very good-hearted and loving, and she cares about her family, and she's really this the center of goodness on the show. So there's there's Renoir the clown. He gives up the name Renoir. It's Chip Baskets is our is our protagonist. Comes back home. His brother Dale is the the normal responsible one. At least it seems that way initially. Initially, it seems like he only exists to make to make chip look bad but we slowly start to see maybe this this facade of responsibility is just that a facade and then chip strikes up this friendship with martha who on a show with a lot of a lot of characters you feel pity for and bad for martha may take the cake she's such a such a doormat so agreeable so lovable and you see especially in a relationship with chip she just helps him out, is always there for him, and a lot of the time he just treats her with such disdain. Even the fact, the entire show, at least so far, three seasons, she's always wearing a cast, and no one even cares enough to ask her about the cast. It's just people just accept it as just part of her, part of her essence. Even the color of the cast, just this horrible, horrible, ugly green. And that brings me to the, the aesthetic, the look of the show. I've never seen an aesthetic so match just the mood of, of failure and mediocrity and tackiness. So the color palette is just desaturated and washed out. The colors they pick, I would love to get the palette and look at it and just the ugliest colors in the spectrum. But they managed to make, it's as if there was a version of hell and they took a brilliant interior designer and they said, look, I want you to make the most aesthetic looking show, the, the best looking TV show you can, but you're only allowed to use these colors and they're the worst, most horrible colors. And yet they find a way to make, make these colors look, look somewhat nice to look at even. And again, it's not, it's like an, it's an ugly look the show has, but it's a very compelling ugly look. The outfits, we see the characters wear, Again, these hor this horrible color palette, the, the faded yellows, the greens, the beiges, just going so badly together. And the prints, these horrible floral prints we see characters wear, the moomoos we see, we see mama baskets wear all the time. Just, again, it's, it's hard to describe, but when we see the, the green cast and we see how it perfectly matches up with another character's horrible, horrible green purse she's she's holding and we see the color coordination between these awful colors that 
you'd think it if if you were in a world that was so ugly and all the you had to work with to create beauty was these awful colors you think you would give up and you would just say look why bother color coordinating why bother trying to create these sets that look a certain way when we just we have nothing to work with we should just give up throwing the towel and it's somewhat admirable that whoever's designing this and it's kind of symbolic for the human condition that they say no even if this is all we have to work with we're still going to put the effort we're going to try to make it look as good as we can